This is another video using Napier's rods. My first video, we did it with um, cardboard. Well, this is, it's cardstock, but you can do it with paper. What I've done is I've made a more, a more sturdy set of Napier's rods using tongue depressors. So um, I just got tongue depressors, I lined them up. I actually put tape on the back of them to hold them still. And then I drew the numbers on here. So if you notice, this is my index stick just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then these are the multiple sticks. So um, I've got one up here, and then all these are all the multiples of one. Um, here's six, and I've got all the multiples of six, six, 12, 18, 24. Um, so I use the tongue depressors. They're actually better for a classroom set too because they don't rip. But I usually let the kids make their own cardboard set, but I have some of these available because they rip. Um, the other thing I wanted to say is if you're going to do these with the tongue depressors, you should use an ink pen, use a ballpoint pen. When I try to use a, a felt tip pen or a permanent, it was a Sharpie, a fine tip Sharpie, it, the, the, it bleeds in the wood. So that uh, the ballpoint pen worked the best. So this video, I wanted to show how, how we carry and maybe do a two digit a multiplication problem. So my example multiplication problem is 3,589 times nine. So I need 3,589. Okay, so I'm gonna get the other sticks out of the way that I'm not using. Um, I do use the stick to kind of, cause everything does need to be lined up pretty close. And then it's times nine, so I'm going to just lay my my markers just so I can see what I'm doing here. And then the first thing I need to do is I'm gonna see how many diagonals I have. I have one diagonal, two, three, four, five diagonals, which means I'm gonna have um, a ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. I'm gonna have a ten thousands place. So I'm gonna have five ants or five digits in my answer. Um, so the first diagonal is one, so it's gonna be one. My second diagonal, I have eight plus two. So that means I have 10 tens, which is really a hundred. So I have to carry my one over here, but I have to put zero tens because I don't have any tens. So now in my hundreds diagonal, I have five plus seven plus one. So five plus seven is 12 plus one is 13. So if I have 13 hundreds, that's really 1,300. And then um, I've got seven plus four is 11, plus that one is 12. So I'm gonna put, I have 12 thousandths and one ten thousandth. And I'm gonna carry that one, so that's gonna give me three ten thousandths. So my answer is 32,301. And then just to prove that that's my answer, we want to say 300, or sorry, 3,589 times 9 equals 32,300, oops, sorry, 32,301. So um, that, that is the correct answer. And so, and that's how you do it. Usually though, especially with the kids, they, they, they get good enough that they're not writing these carries down. They're just, they're doing that in their head. Let's use the same um, number 3,589, but this time let's multiply it by 29. So we're gonna break it up into two parts. And this is how Napier did it. You use, we're gonna multiply by 20 and we're gonna multiply by nine. So we just multiplied by nine, but let's do it again. So multiplying by nine, I have, um, I'm just gonna put it down here. I've got one, two, pl or two plus eight is 10, so I'm gonna put a zero, carry the one. Uh, five and seven is 12, plus one is 13. And I carry the one, so seven plus four is 11, plus one is 12. Also carry the one that leaves me three. So, um, 3,589 times nine is 32,301, and we checked that earlier in the video. 
Now the second one we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by 20. So I'm going to highlight my 2 line. Now, because we're multiplying it by 20, we know it's going to end in a 0. So we put that 0 down, and then we just go ahead and use the rods here. So in the tens place, I have 8. 6 plus 1 is 7. 1 plus 0 is 1. And 6 plus 1 is 7. So uh, 3,589 times 20 is 71,780. And then I add them together. So uh, 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 8 is 8, 3 plus 7 is 10, carry the 1, 2, 3, 4, and this is 10. So 3,589 times 29 is 104,081. Now I want to take a look at this, because if we go to our algorithm for solving these, we're going to say 9 times 9 is 81. We're going to put the 1 down and carry our 8 tens. 9 times 8 is 72. Plus 8 is 80. So I'm going to put the 0 and carry my 8. 9 times 5 is 45. Plus 8 is 53. Carry my 5. 9 times 3 is 27 plus 5 is 32. Look what I have here. It matches. So then we put a 0 down here. Um, I have issues with putting the 0. I've had teachers tell me they call it laying a golden egg, 0 placeholder. It is essentially a placeholder because we're multiplying by 20 and we know that um, anything times 20 is going to end in a 0. So that's why the 0 is going there. And then 2 times 9 is 18. We're going to carry the 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. And 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. And look what I've got here, 71,780. 71,780. Then we just add them up. 4 is 10. And we get uh, 104,081, 104,081. So Napier's rods is essentially the distributive property. and But kids like to use them because it's a tool, it's a manipulative. And um, I know we have problems as teachers with giving kids manipulatives because they, they clack them and they, they mess with them and they build with them. Um, but what I found with these is that they don't end up being such a, they, they're initially a distraction, but when I let them make their own, they become less of a distraction and the kids want to do the math with them. So I hope you try it and any kids watching this video, I hope you try it because you guys can do these and make these.